This is my 1997 Honda CR125 that I've been restoring for the last six months or so. It's been a pretty good experience so far. Um, one thing that I noticed when it came when I got the bike is it came with a 36 millimeter PJ carb on it that was no good, so I had to replace the carb either way. I had a 38 millimeter PWK Air Striker off of a 2000 CR250 available, so I heard that that was um, a viable option. So when I went to go ride the thing, it had this awful flat spot. So right before the power band would hit, it would like bog out. So I did some research on some forums online as well as some Facebook groups and I ran across um, a solution from a guy in Switzerland by the name of Nino. Uh, apparently this, uh, if you if you shim the governor spring three millimeters, it remedies the whole problem and it gives it a, a better like mid-range bark to it. So obviously at CR125s, they don't have a lot of bottom end. So you're gonna be sacrificing a lot of bottom end, like the remaining bottom end, um, if you go to a bigger carburetor. Um, so I found a guy in England. He runs this joint called JDP Developments. And I got a three millimeter shim from him. Apparently it's just, it's designed for this specific issue. So I'll put the link in the, in the description below, but this is going to be um, a video on how to actually uh, install that shim or washers. I've heard you can do it with washers as well. Um, I just wanted to use the shim because it was the easiest. Um, and I haven't found any video online uh, regarding this installation. So I figured I would just video it myself and hopefully help out somebody who who also needs to help um, installing this shim or or fixing that mid-range problem with using a 38 millimeter uh, air striker. I, my jetting is is spot on. I did use a JD jet kit um, and played around with it. It is correctly jetted. So stay tuned. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so we've got the governor out of the bike. It's right behind the outer clutch cover there. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're actually gonna take the top cap off of this governor that's right above that spring there. You guys can see it pretty well. And we're gonna replace it with this three millimeter spacer, okay? So apparently that will make this go, this uh, power valve on this bike open up sooner and get rid of that flat spot that I was talking about. Um, I went to Harbor Freight, I got a gear puller. Um, I did have to grind these hooks down in order to get it underneath um that cap so just be mindful of that uh if you want to get one of these spacers um look up jdp developments out of england on facebook i will make sure to put a link um on uh, in the description for that so let's go ahead and get started okay before we go any further and you start messing with the cap on this one um you need to make sure you measure the top of the shaft on the governor down to where the cap starts so you know how far it needs to be when we install the governor or i'm sorry the um three millimeter shim cap or whatever you want to call it should be six millimeters um every time i've measured this it comes out to right around six millimeters so um i recommend you go ahead and measure it on your bike of course but if you skipped ahead in this video and you need to know it's six millimeters on mine so six millimeters from the top of the shaft to where the cap starts. So I've got the governor in my vise with soft jaws. Um, just remember when you use your gear, gear puller, you wanna make sure that the hooks are up under there where there's some, some meat on the cap, not like the um, thinnest part, like right here. So um, when I spoke with James from JDP, developments he said that you can um, pull it with the spring underneath there so like you can come in right there um, and it won't hurt the governor so just keep that in mind when you get going on this okay i got my governor and the gear puller in there uh, i got it kind of underneath that spring um, this might be easier with just a two hook puller but 
this is the one I've got. So let's see what we can do here. goes. Okay. Okay, so the cap's off. is off let's see what we can do now let's go see if we can't uh, install this okay the top cap for this CR 125's governor is now off we are going to go ahead and install this three millimeter shim with this vise and the help of this 17 millimeter socket so Let's keep going. This is how I got it set up currently. Um, I'm going to get it on there and get it started and then go ahead and uh, measure it to make sure that it's in the right spot. So, sorry I didn't film the first part. Um, I thought I was filming and it didn't really work, but I got it started. Um, it's about halfway there, so um, we'll keep going. I'm just putting it in there. Make sure that this is square with the vise though, okay? So let's keep going. This is working. This is how I got it set it up set up currently. Let's check it again. All right, there you have it. I'll measure it here in just a second, but I think it's spot on. Okay, so we got it installed and it measures out to 606. So that was actually surprisingly easy. Um, I did not expect it to go that well, um, just because I've never done something like this before. But um, again, I've never seen any video about doing this on YouTube. So I figured why not make a YouTube video about it. Um, again, thanks to Nino and thanks to James at JDP Developments. Um, I will again link uh, James's uh, Facebook page in the description box below. Um, but yeah, so this should make it a lot easier to run a uh, key in PWK 38 millimeter air striker. So really excited about this. So thanks for watching my video. Take care.